Welcome back, viewers. Now, an elephant attack in Kerala has triggered a political storm in Karnataka. And as absurd as that sounds, this is yet another reminder of the complex cascading developments in Indian politics. Now, here's what exactly happened. On the 10th of February, a man, man named Ajish was killed. This was during an elephant attack in Kerala's Wainad. Now, several such incidents in a short span of time has triggered protests as well in this region. Now, protesters even get out the forest department vehicle. They place the dead cattle on its bonnet as a symbolic way of protesting. Now, the stir intensified so much so that Congress MP Rahul Gandhi paused his Bharat Jodo Nyai Yatra and rushed to the constituency. Now, during his visit, he even advised the Karnataka government to also pay compensation as the vehicle was from the neighboring state. Now, the Congress government in Karnataka immediately obliged. They announced a compensation of 15 lakh rupees to the victim's family. The move, of course, now has drawn a lot of criticism from the BJP, the JDS and a few netizens as well, accusing the Congress of misusing the state's funds for political gains. Now, BJP's Karnataka president, B.Y. Vijendra, went on to condemn the government's action, asserting that it prioritized pleasing Rahul Gandhi over addressing urgent needs of the state such as the crippling drought and even the farmer suicides. Meanwhile, former Chief Minister H.T. Kumar Swami highlighted the stark difference in compensation between Karnataka and Kerala for very similar incidents. Firstly, let's listen in to what the opposition charge was. So just because Rahul Gandhi has demanded Karnataka government to release money, our Chief Minister Sidramaya has released 15 lakh rupees to a person who has... Uh, died due to the elephant stampede in Kerala, that in Wainad area. So this is a total misuse, misuse of uh, state funds. The state government and the forest minister, Ishwar Kandreji, is planning to lift the ban on the traffic movement in the Bandipur reserve, reserve forest area. But since the vehicle movement during the night in Bandipur forest area will to disturb the wild animals. So definitely this will spoil the entire atmosphere. Bharatiya Janata Party strongly condemns the act of the state government. They are doing this only to make Rahul Gandhi. Rahul Gandhi ka India ka member hi government chala raha hai Kerala mein communist. Udar se compensation dilane ko nahi hua hai. कम्युनिस्ट वाले राहुल गांधी का बात नहीं सुनते इसलिए वो कर्नाटक का मिनिस्टर को लेटर लिखा है और कर्नाटक सीएम अगर केरला में कुछ हो गया तो इधर पैसा देने लगे तो ऐसा रोज कुछ होता है ये ये कर्नाटक का सीएम बोलता है हमारा टैक्स और हमारा हक तो कर्नाटक के टैक्स को राहुल गांधी बोला करके केरला में देना ये क्या है अन्याय नहीं कर्नाटक लोगों की हार्ड अर्ड मनी टैक्स जो है वो अन्याय है राहुल गांधी को पुलिस करने के लिए ऐसा काम किया है ये कांग्रेस का नीति बताता है देर लीडर फ्रॉम दिल्ली राहुल गांधी ऑन इस रिक्वेस्ट और ऑन इस डायरेक्शन दिस गवर्नमेंट लिबरली लिबरली दे हैव गिवन द कॉम्पनसेशन गिवन द मैसेज आवर गवर्नमेंट ट्रेजरी इज वेरी स्ट्रांग दिस इज द difference of decision taken by this government on the direction of the leader Rahul Gandhi. Now there was of course a response that came in from the Congress party and they've depend, defended of course the compensation that was paid stating that it was only provided on humanitarian grounds and even said that it has nothing to do with Rahul Gandhi whatsoever. See releasing compensation amount to a deceased person trampled by the elephants from the Karnataka state is a humanitarian act. It is not about whether Mr. Ga Rahul Gandhi uh, recommended for the uh, compensation to be paid or not. It is on humanitarian grounds. Whoever have, might have recommended. On humanitarian grounds, we have released compensation, a meager compensation of 15 lakhs. So BJP, time and again, the way they are behaving, they have left humanity. There is no connection between humanity and BJP. Maybe there is some, uh, since I don't know the details, 
of uh, that area. You see, there are very, a lot of common areas between Karnataka and Kerala. Maybe it's a common forest area. Maybe the elephant uh, came from the Karnataka side of the jungles into that. And maybe the Karnataka government feels that they have some uh, sort of, uh, uh, you know, direct or indirect culpability to it. You know, if, uh, if your arrangements have led to this. I'm not sure of that, okay? However, there has been a, a case all across India where people have given compensation for such kinds of tragic events. You must have seen during the war or during COVID or elsewhere for various state governments uh, both compensating in, in terms of great tragedies and sometimes rewarding people when they have achieved some laurels. So I think let's keep it at that. Well, Dr. Narendra Rangappa of the BJP is with us today. We also have Satya Prakash from the Congress Party, Maya Sharma, senior journalist. So I'm going to take this across to the Congress Party first, Mr. Satya Prakash. We've heard from the JDS, from the BJP. They're all saying it is because you want to please Rahul Gandhi that this compensation is being paid. There was no reason state government of Kerala would have dealt with this situation. You cannot hold animals really accountable. And, you know, the BJP even went on to say that unnecessarily an elephant is being blamed here. Your defense. People understand humans have boundaries. Elephants don't have boundaries. Elephants don't have any states. The whole elephant corridor is theirs. The whole Western Ghats is theirs. Elephants on an average travel 80 to 100 kilometers on a daily basis. And it would have gone into Kerala. Kerala and uh, Karnataka forest is a porous forest. Any animal can go whenever it wants. Unfortunately, we are from the land of Kuempu. What did Kuempu say? O nanna chetana, agu ni aniketana. Rupa Rupa Garanu Dati Nama. You need to go beyond boundaries. You need, you need to become Vishwamanava. You need to become human of the world, not just Karnataka or Kerala. There is a tragedy which has happened. This is the same Tusker which killed some people in Shumoga also recently. It went there. There was some human casualties. In the best interest, Humanistic interest, <laughs> Karnataka has acted by giving some compensation. Now, BJP has nothing else to do other than telling no Karnataka money is being spent from Kerala. Mr. Sandeep Dixit rightly said, whenever there are some tragedies in our neighboring states, human tragedies happen. We have always been very generous enough in helping those individuals. After all, we have helped a family, the sole breadwinner, has died. And there were a lot of protests in Kerala saying this is an elephant from Karnataka. Elephant doesn't belong to any state. The whole forest belongs to the elephant indeed. And it is we humans who have intruded into their areas. And now since Kerala, people of Kerala were saying, you know, it is an elephant from uh, Karnataka. And since there was loss of some human lives, Rahul Gandhi ji also, since he is the leader for whole of India, has written a letter saying, you know, and it is just, it's a recommendation. Just see if you can help the family is what he has said. And government of Karnataka in the larger interest has given some compensation. And this, this BJP of Karnataka has nothing else but to take these trivial issues. And they're inhumanistic in nature. And this is exactly a humanistic act by the Karnataka government. And I, I don't know why BJP are, are taking out these silly issues. Are they humanistic Let's enough? ask the BJP. Let's ask the BJP. Don't I have a few more questions for you, Mr. Satya Prakash. I'll come back to that. But I, I want to bring in the BJP as well here. I want to bring in the BJP. But one thing you said, that it's, it's an elephant. It can wander anywhere it wants. The question that really comes up is, it, it, it can, of course. Does it mean that you're going to compensate if any other incident like this and God forbid it happens? It shouldn't happen. And, you know, if it does happen in Tamil Nadu, you're going to be doing the same thing. The question that the BJP is asking, has it happened because Mr. Rahul Gandhi insisted? Because it's his constituency. It's, it's because the Lok Sabha elections are on the corner. And Opana, he... Yeah. Opana, here, the Kerala government never gave any compensation. So, to give some compensation for that family, since he is the sole pre-turner, Karnataka has gone a step forward. That doesn't mean every time we will do it. So, so why, 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 was Rahul Gandhi not, why was Rahul Gandhi not thinking it was convenient for him to write uh, to the Kerala government? He thought it was more convenient to write to the Karnataka government. 
Is your problem just because Rahul Gandhi has written this the letter? Congress is your party, problem? Uh, is in power is here? Problem, Did he find it more convenient that Rahul way? Rahul Gandhi has written a letter. They have a problem. What if Rahul Gandhi had not written a letter and some other MP would have written a letter and we would have done this benevolent act? Then what would BJP do? But they that's not happened here. With Rahul Gandhi. That's this not. Why are we going into a hypothetical situation? Why why are we going into a hypothetical situation when there is a letter that we have from Mr. Rahul Gandhi? Mr. Ishwar Khandre has clearly said that on the insistence of Mr. Rahul Gandhi and, and what he spoke to Mr. K.C. Venugopal, which was communicated because of that, you know, we are acting very swiftly. Okay, anyway, I'll come back to you, Mr. Satya Prakash. You can respond, but also let me bring in the BJP here. Mr. Narendra Rangappa, you know, the Congress is saying this is on humanitarian grounds that they have given this compensation. What does the BJP really have to say? Because are, are, are they not for giving compensation to victims? This is the charge that the Congress is coming out. Sir, first of all, my deepest condolences to the victim of this tragedy. Number one, let me show you the letter that I have downloaded from the internet that Mr. Ishwar Gandhi, the forest minister, has written to Rahul Gandhi, who is the extra constitutional authority in this manner. Who is he for the forest minister to report to? He should be reported to the chief minister. He should be responsible for the people of Karnataka. But what does he do? He reports the MP from Vainad, Rahul Gandhi. This is ridiculous, perplexing. And has created an extra constitutional crisis here by reporting to Rahul Gandhi to sanction funds to a person who has died in an animal conflict in Vainar. Okay? But what about the deaths that have occurred in Karnataka? In August uh, 23, uh, Mr. Devaya and Madikeri was attacked by an elephant and he died. On January 1, 2024, near Kanakpura, 34 year old man was uh, killed by an elephant. On Jan 5th, Vasant Kumar in Belor was killed in. Uh, Elephant attack. Then again, on January 2016, Mirage made a 48-year-old coffee worker was uh, killed by an elephant attack. Then yesterday, two days back, near Gumla, when a sultan on Ashatama had been trampled by the elephant death, till now, nobody has received one rupee of compensation. Then how is that? In two days, a person in Kerala, who is uh, nowhere concerned to the Karnataka state, gets a compensation immediately. What sort of a uh, uh, government are we seeing at? You forget what is happening at home and you okay. go to Kerala and you show your uh, humbleness, humanitarian basis, everything. What about the humans who have died in Karnataka? Who is going to ask them? Rahul Gandhi? Is your country writing a letter to okay. you know, Rahul you Gandhi? You know, even the viewers should really, when they're looking at this, the debate here is not as to why the compensation was given. Of course, the compensation should be given in such instances. The family, of course, would be destroyed at this, uh, this point well, in time. And we just hope that such incidents do not really happen again. But the please. questions that do come up is, is there politics also that's playing around this compensation that was given? I'm going to go to Maya Sharma to get a better perspective. Maya, you've, of course, been uh, reporting from, uh, you know, Karnataka for decades. Have, and you must have seen instances uh, similar to this come to the fore. But when you have a radio collared, uh, you know, jumbo that walks into mm -hmm. a neighboring state and, and tramples upon somebody, they've, they've lost their life. Uh, have you heard of an instance where, you know, so swiftly a government acting and, you know, ensuring that the compensation is paid? This is really, of course, an extremely unusual story, a very complicated story. At the core of it, of course, the tragedy the loss for that family, the loss, the tragic death of the man. And in that sense, a compensation given by a government authority, if it alleviates the suffering of a family in any way, at least in terms of immediate financial benefit, well, that is to be appreciated. Just as in times of joy, when an athlete does very well, even if an athlete from a different state wins an Olympic medal or something, people from other states do govern of other states do actually reward that person. So that is looking at the humanitarian aspect. But there, of course, is a but. If there's a comparison with people in Karnataka who have lost their lives a similar way and are not getting such swift compensation, then, of course, huge questions are being raised there. And that larger question, of course, of animal-human conflict in areas where we've just, human beings have just taken over so much of the earth, there is that pressure. But whether you can hold a state government responsible 
for an elephant's, an elephant's act is, of course, another question altogether. Yes, that elephant was from Karnataka, but Karnataka, that elephant doesn't know it's in Karnataka or Kerala. The elephant is going as elephants do, where it is following its food, where it's following its instincts. So it may be a tricky precedent to follow, to give compensation merely because the animal was originally from the state of Karnataka. And that, I think, is what is being pointed out, the differentiation between the people of Karnataka who have suffered the same fate and the fact that can you really be responsible for the acts of an elephant merely because it originated in the home state. But of course, a tragic circumstance, if the 15 lakhs can help the family, then I don't think that should be grudged in any way at a humanitarian level. The political level is something else. Yes, Maya, getting into the political aspect, because that's the crux of what we are talking about, because like you mentioned, of course, it is necessary for any of the governments here uh, to come forward and help, uh, especially when disaster strikes like this. But the question here is there is protocols to be followed and which uh, when, when, an incident, when an incident like this happens in one particular state, it's usually that that particular yes. state government provides compensation or some sort of relief. But here, it's a neighboring state that has done it. And like you mentioned, claiming that the elephant belongs to this state. How, how do you really look at that sort of a defense coming in? And uh, when Ra Mr. Rahul Gandhi here makes a request, wh where do you think uh, you know, the request should have been first made? Was it for the, to the Kerala government or to the Karnataka government? The death happened in Kerala. Wayanad is a district in Kerala. It's a constituency in Kerala. The Kerala state government was responsible for providing any compensation according to the current rules in that state for compensation for such animal deaths. Definitely, it was a Kerala government responsibility. If Rahul Gandhi has, in fact, asked the Congress government in Karnataka because of the familiarity of being a Congress government and because on the rather tenuous reason that the elephant was from Karnataka, then that is perhaps an awkward precedent to start. Of course, as I said, the heart goes out to the family and whatever help and whatever alleviation of their suffering can happen, that is, that is good. But really it is the state government of Kerala, which perhaps hopefully will still step up and provide further compensation to the family. It is the state government's responsibility to help the people of their own state. Deepak, can I put a point Absolutely. on this? Uh, Mr. Satya Prakash, you've heard uh, from uh, Maya, of course, yeah, a very a uh, you know, seasoned voice yeah. there, giving us a perspective. And apart from that, the BJP as well, questioning uh, the Congress's ulterior motives in this particular case. See, I would like to respond to Sh Sharmaji, Maya Sharmaji. See, Kerala has a responsibility, but Karnataka has a responsibility too, because this elephant was a radio caller. And since it was radio colored and it was a sort of a rogue elephant because it was captured from uh, the Chikmagalur, you know, the Shumoga area, and they had transported it to Bandipur. And since they had left it in Bandipur, since it was radio colored, it was the job of the Karnataka forest officials also to have a look at it because so that it doesn't get enter into the human population again. So I think somewhere having uh, owing that moral responsibility that you know somewhere you know we couldn't uh, have a check on that. The government has gone a step forward and, you know, to give that compensation. When Mr. Rangappa said that, you know, compensation is already given, no, compensation is announced. Compensation will be given over a period of time. Okay, it, it might take some more time. But if, that's exactly the question I'm asking. If not for Rahul Gandhi, if it was someone else, some other MP, and he would have asked, would BJP and JDS have a problem? They wouldn't have is a problem. The problem in this whole episode is not the Would the elephant, Congress, would the Congress the be so swift in paying the compensation to a death that has happened in a neighboring state? That's the question, Mr. Satya Prakash. Yeah. That's the question. That's the question. That's the question. Would, the, would the Congress be so swift in paying compensation for a death in another state? If it was not Mr. Rahul Gandhi, that's precisely what we are trying to ask. We are not questioning the compensation. We've all here agreed unanimously that the compensation is absolutely necessary. But the onus was first on the state of Kerala. The request should have also probably been made to them. It was made to Karnataka probably because it was more convenient. And what sort of a precedent are you setting? Are, are you going to say now any radio collared animal, you know, if it moves to another state, because, you know, you do have multiple southern states sharing forest regions, are you going to be compensating any other debts? Is this a precedent that you set now? Because people should understand. Because next time a family... Okay, tell, tell, tell us quickly. Because we have about a minute left. If you could quickly sum it up, Mr. Satya Prakash. 
Okay, but you need to understand this is a one-time affair. It need not be that we do it for every state. Okay, that is what I am saying. Just because it was Rahul Gandhi, the BJP and JDS have problem. If it was something else, no one would have reacted also for this. The problem is Rahul Gandhi represents why not? And Rahul Gandhi has written a letter. Rahul Gandhi has written a letter requesting. It is not an order. Like what Mr. Narendra Rangappa says, right. he requested the government could have accepted it, the government could have rejected okay. it. As simple as that. Now, coming to your point that if it happens in other states, okay, Mr. Satya Prakash, the government has accepted it, and uh, Mr. Satya Prakash says this is only on humanitarian grounds. The BJP, of course, continues to question the intention here and are saying that it is on the behest of their political boss. So for the people, of course, it's for them to judge what exactly has happened, but. We, our heart goes out to the family of the deceased here and let's hope that even the Karnataka government does its bit to help the family. On that note, I'm slipping into a quick break, thanking all our panelists. On the other side, the urban debate coming up. Stay with Mirana.